Genexus Enterprise AI offers an API that provides endpoints to retrieve data about the organization, such as projects and requests. It allows retrieving project details and exporting request data. To use this API, we must consider the generic variables we already know, base URL and SIA API token. The methods available for this API are as follows. Let's test some of these methods. First, let's test the get method to get the list of assistants defined in the organization. This requires a Genexus Enterprise AI API token related to the scope of the organization. The parameter required by this method is the level of detail required in the response. The possible values are summary, which is the default, or full. The summary option, which as we said is the default option, will only show the first level. On the other hand, the full option will also show the details of the review and the composition of the assistant. All right. We'll take as a basis the curl sample we're looking at, which is available in the technical documentation of Genexus Enterprise AI. Remember that the client URL, curl, command is a command line tool for data exchange. We specify the server URL, that is, the location where we want to send a request, and the data to be sent to that server URL. Then we see that the URL must look like this. Therefore, our URL will be as follows, where this part corresponds to the content of the variable base URL applied to our context. OK, we enter Postman and declare the get. Note that the authorization type is bearer and a project API token is required. So from the platform, we go to the API tokens option and copy the default. We go back to Postman and define the authorization required. In type, we set bearer token and paste the token. To get the response, we click on send. We see the description, ID, name, and type of each assistant defined as well as the data of the corresponding project, which in our case is training project. OK, as indicated in the sample, if we want to receive the complete details in the response, we must modify the URL of the get in this way. We do it. We click on send again, and now we see the complete details. Okay, let's see another example. We're going to use the post method to create a new project. A Genexus Enterprise AI API token related to the scope of the organization is also required. The curl sample we need in this case is the following. Therefore, the URL we need to indicate looks like this. Once again in Postman, we indicate post and paste the URL. In this case, an organization API token is required, so we enter the platform to obtain it. And we paste it. To define the body, we need to indicate the name and description of the project to create. So we go to the body tab, choose raw, JSON and define the data. We click on send and get the answer containing the new project creation information. In order to effectively verify the creation of this new project also via API, let's quickly apply the get method to obtain the projects defined in the organization. According to the corresponding curl sample, we must use the following URL. 
So again, from Postman, we define the request. Also in this case, as indicated in the sample, an organization API token is required. So we get it and complete the definition of the request. We click on send and check that the new project is part of the list of projects returned in the response. In this way, it's possible to test the other methods available in this API. Remember that later on, we'll be able to integrate these APIs into our development work regardless of the technology.